Nolan has another film coming out, and now he's become this world-class actor. And this time, this time, he's in a dystopian world, and he needs to protect somebody. So now, I'm going to do a review of the movie Chaos Walking. So, hi, my name is Nathan, and I, I have a channel called Nathan's Random Stuff, where I do a bunch of random stuff. If you're new here, if you're new here, suggest some content down below. When I do these movie rankings, they last five to six minutes. This one might be different. Um, there's a possibility, but and also, if you watch the movie Chaos Walking, let me know what you thought of it down below in the comment section. Um, um, so Chaos. So let, without further ado, let's get right to the Chaos Walking movie review. Chaos Walking is about it is about Tom Holland who plays a a boy who's a member of a town called Prentice Town and all the men's thoughts are on display and the women are killed are killed but then but then all of that turns into a different direction when a girl lands on his planet and he must go on this journey to protect her now ca now chaos walking i i probably would have liked it a lot more if it because it's based off of three books from the same series and they tried to mash it together in one movie but there are some things i like about it so Without further ado, let's start off with the good about the movie. And right off the bat, it has an interesting premise with a very talented cast like Tom Holland and Daisy Ridley and Matt Mikkelsen and David Oilowo. All that stuff, all those cast members, they're really cool to see on screen together. Um, this movie has a unique premise. And it can be funny at some times. It's kind of creepy when you think about it, when all the men's thoughts are on display. Um, but but it's kind of interesting. Right off the bat, there's no need for privacy because whatever you know, everybody could hear what you know. And and like, I know I'm a little late to see this one, but. This movie is, um, it has some good things about it also. Uh, there's nice interactions between Tom Holland and Daisy Ridley. Um, some of the characters are pretty fleshed out. Um, and if you don't know, yesterday it was this movie that I watched. So, so that was that. Okay. And, all. Oh, and also, right on top of that, there's these characters that mean something to the main Tom Holland character. And, 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 I wasn't bored during the movie. It's very entertaining. And there's a bunch of cool scenes in the movie. But, but, it's a very flawed movie. So, from there, let's move on to the bad. Honestly, Honestly, I did give this movie a generally positive review, but but right off the bat, the noise thing, like the thing that puts their men's um, thoughts on display, that noise thing, it is very hard to get used to because then, like right off the bat, it once at, once the movie starts, you hear all these noise people from the town. Then, and, and also, it seems like characters need to be, um, need to have a little more screen time, like, like, and they waste some of the talent, like, Tom Holland is, of course, so likable in the movie, but Daisy Ridley is just this side character that's just there on this journey, and she, and she doesn't really have the strong moments in the movie. 
there's um hilarious moments with her in the movie, but there's just not enough of that because the only, to make her interesting, and it's mostly Tom Holland that's doing the uh, the like the raising up thing, and and all the rest of the cast members are also really underutilized, like Mads Mikkelsen, Nick Jonas. Um, and all these characters are pretty wasted. And this is a movie that's not great. It's okay. But it's not really one that I would personally, re if I had to choose, I wouldn't personally rewatch. But if I, but if I would, but if I, if I felt like a movie with Spider-Man and Ray Skywalker, then this is the one I would watch. <laughs> um, and it's just, and they kill off characters in these middle parts of the movie, and it, it's really, it, it has this meaning to you. I mean, that's more of a good thing than a bad thing. It's sort of in the this mixed section. But but this is a movie that has some flaws, but it is very enjoyable and entirely watchable. But like like again, like there's aliens showing up in the movie, and. They're not really important to the storyline because of that big reveal in the middle of the movie. So they're not really important in any way. So, so overall, entirely watchable movie. It not, it's not a boring movie, but this is... I, I, I still barely have words for this movie. This is a movie... Okay, now time for my score. Now, I would rewatch this movie. I find it entirely watchable, but I can't personally recommend it. So if you want to see it, you could wait. You, you could wait until it's like on Amazon or something where you could rent it. And also and also you could um I I pretty much enjoy this movie, but but it's not one that I would personally choose to watch. So I give this movie a 7.5 out of 10. It's pretty entertaining. But very flawed film at the same time. So there you have it. That's my review of Chaos Walking. Let me know what you thought of it down in the comment section below. And, and I will see you guys in the next one.